tomorrow here on the 7th of July. It's UFC 148 Silva versus Sunnen 2. And some of you maybe don't know, I am a huge, huge fight fan. And I've never done any fight predictions or talked about this before. But I wanted to start doing this now. So I've got my little cheat sheet here where I have the fights. I only focused on the main card and the main events and the, the startup events, if you can say so. So the Facebook fights and the preliminary fights I haven't thought about. Okay, so let's take this from the top. So the first fight is Ivan Menjivar versus Mike Easton. I've never actually seen Easton fight before. I have seen Menjivar and I think he's a really, really good fighter. They're pretty equal in most of their stats. I th think that if Mike Easton can keep it standing and use his uh, striking, he might take this one, even though I do think Medjavar has a chance, but I'm going to give it to Mike Easton. So the second fight is Chad Mendes versus Cody McKenzie. Now I've seen both of these guys fight before, and I am kind of a fan of Chad Mendes. I think he is a great fighter, just like a little ball of energy, and I think that he has a lot of pressure that he can add to the fight. McKenzie hasn't really struck me before as a totally amazing fighter, um, so I think I'm gonna have to give this one to Mendes. So for the third fight, we have Don Yong, Stun Gun Kim, and Damian Maya. I've seen the both of these guys fight before. They are both well-rounded fighters. They both have great stats, but I think that Kim just has some. He just has a fierceness. He is a really, really strong fighter, and I definitely want to give the win to him. I think he he can take him. So the fourth fight, Kong Lee versus Patrick Coat. I've never seen any of these guys fight. Don't have any idea of who they actually are. Um, but looking at their stats and the facts about them, I think that Coat maybe has more experience and may is a better well-rounded fighter. So I'm gonna give the win to Patrick Coat. So the co-main event uh, is. Forrest Griffin versus Tito Ortiz. They're both really good fighters, seen them both fight before. I do feel sometimes though that with Tito it's a bit hit and miss, either he's just brilliant in the fight and then other times you know there's just one bad punch and then he's out of the game. But Tito does have some serious ground and pound and he's vicious when he finally gets one someone on the ground. So if he can take the, the fight to the ground, he definitely has a chance of winning with that. Um, but I do think that Griffin might have an advantage in the fact that he has, is better at striking and if he catches Tito in the like right on the button he is gonna take this game. I think the winner it could go both ways, but I I think Griffin might take this one. But you can never ever count Tito out because this is his last fight before uh, his retirement and I do believe that he wants to show that he is the people's champion and he wants to go out with a bang so this one I'm still a bit undecided on but I think Griffin might take it. And finally the main event, Anderson Spider Silva versus Chael Sonnen. I followed a lot on Twitter and saw the press conference and these guys definitely have a chip on their shoulder. Um, I know that Chill was the only guy that ever really rocked Anderson and Anderson didn't really know how to handle him. Um, Anderson does have a few better stats. I think he's a more well-rounded fighter. Um, there's been a lot of trash talking between the two and there is a possibility that Chill got into Anderson's head. I don't think so though. I think that Anderson knows how to prepare for this fight. And he has, he knows what he did wrong in the last fight, he knows what he needs to enhance on, he knows what he needs to prepare on, and I do think that he wants this fight more, and he has said a lot of stuff where I'm like, he, this guy has great amounts of anger towards uh, Sonnen, and I do think that Anderson will definitely take this, I think he is more vicious, more fierce, and I think, I think he wants it more would not want to fight him if I was Sonnen. I definitely wouldn't. So those were my fight pick for UFC 148. I'm looking forward to watching it and seeing if I'm actually right about any of these. Because you know it's sports and one clean hit and one of these guys are going to go out and it's probably not going to be the one that I guessed. But hopefully I uh, have picked some winners in here. Oh! Ow! Oh my finger! I think I have a nerve caught. Ah, oh, that hurts.
Ow. Oh, I have a boo-boo. Oh. Wow, I could not last in a fight with any of these guys. Ah, oh, sweet Jesus.